Hi there, Simon from simonwater.com. Uh, today's wine, Taylor's Chip Dry White Port. Uh, serve chilled, it says. Well, I haven't got, I haven't got it chilled. I'm going to try it by itself and then I'm going to try it uh, uh, as they drink it in Portugal. So I'll just by itself first. Um, it's funny, it says dry, uh, but these are... Yes, I'm just having a look at the colour. It's, it's quite uh, a golden colour. There's some that are, are paler than that and there's some that are a bit more orange. It's, um, it, it's stretching the definition of the, of, of the term dry. There's a dryness, uh, as in it's not out and out dessert wine, but it's certainly not um, a bone dry wine that you want to have, uh, uh, have with your shellfish. Anyway, I, I'll give it a swirl and uh, taste it. And uh, just uh, from the colour and from the aromas, uh, I think this has been in wood for, for quite a bit because the fruit flavours, uh, there's not really all that much freshness of fruit. And there is this nutty, um, yeah, nutty dried fruit character, that, that, the sort of thing that you get um, with, uh, with extended wood ageing. Um, so fruit backwards, more of the, those nutty, slightly um, furniture polish, there's something, uh, something like that to the fore. Uh, maybe, yeah, the, the, those nuts, it's, it's getting into the, uh, the walnuts, a little bit of, uh, of almond too. A bit of honey, um, a bit of warm, a bit of spirity warmth. Um, some marzipan, a little bit of white chocolate in there too. Um, it's it's nice and it's uh, I mean it's 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 quite a warm day. It's come out of a cool cellar, but it feels um, uh, it, it feels like it's warming it up in front of my eyes. Um, it, if you were to drink it by itself, I think this is uh, there are some styles that are lighter than this. This is on the heavier side, and I'd, I'd get this out with a, um, a white chocolate mousse. I think that would go rather nicely, but. If you are in the Douro at the end of a hot and dusty summer day, uh, what they'll do is they'll give you these and serve it almost in the style of a gin and tonic. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got a bit of ice here. Dunk that in. Oops, just to drop an ice cube on the floor. Uh, I haven't got any mint. Sometimes they put mint in, but I've got a slice of grapefruit. And I've got a little bit of tonic, so I'm going to uh, splash that in. Um, and give it a swirl round and uh, just rescue this other ice cube first before it, uh, not melts a hole, before it uh, leaves a horrible wet patch in the middle of the carpet and uh, give it a swirl. And suddenly it's a different drink uh, from being somewhere that was uh, uh, slightly, not old fashioned, but uh, certainly something to uh, contemplate at the end of a meal or uh, sit there and, uh, and, uh, and browse over. Uh, here it's, it's suddenly something that you want to have by the picture and um, and have a good glug of uh, classic summer's day drink and uh, I'm just wondering whether you can do this with it I've never done it with a, a a red tawny port this is in effect this is a white tawny port uh, but I'm uh, it, it, as in it's been it's been subject to, it's not produce of one particular year but it's uh, uh, it, 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 it's a blend uh, which has uh, benefited from wood aging uh, put together from from various years. I'm just wondering what it would be like if you were to do this with uh, uh, with a with a not a great tawny. That that would be a bit of a bit of a uh, a bit of a waste. But um, I, I'd be interested to, to try that. So I'd say that would good rather than great. It's funny I've. Um, I've taste, uh, recently tasted another white port from Carlem, and they were uh, slightly different in style. The Carlem was a bit fresher, and by itself it was it was sort of okay. Uh, but with this treatment, it, it that's when it, it really pepped up. Maybe because um, the people who sent the Carlem uh, recommended that you put a little dab of elderflower cordial in there. Here, uh, I actually preferred it in its uh, unblended style. Uh, and I was thinking about chilling that down. As I said, chocolate mousse. I would certainly have no problem drinking a, quite a bit of that on a hot day. But um, uh, hey, white ports, they're not all the same. But um, they certainly have something to say for themselves. So do I, but I will shut up for the moment. See you soon.